Look at this question before us. How do we solve this exponential challenge? Okay, the question is a very simple one. At a glass, you can tell the first real root or the real root, the only real root to this challenge, this math challenge. Okay, we have x to the power of 3 equal to 8. So, what number can we place in here? Raise it to power 3 and we give us 8. It's just 2 plus 2. Okay, but with this, we have to look for three roots that will satisfy this equation. Okay, so the other ones might be imaginary roots. We are going to solve this challenge because of the imaginary root. So if you knew yet, this is all like mass TV. They will solve mathematics all the time. Let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. Be happy. Always. Oh, so we take a solution. Solution, solution. Who? The question is x to the power of 3. I want to move this 8 on the right hand side to the left hand side, and this will now give us minus 8 equal to 0. 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3. I hope you know that. So this will now give us x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Same x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. We apply what is called difference of 2 cubed. Remember that? Let me bring it to your remembrance. It says that if you have, let's say, a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to bracket up in a, then minus b, close bracket, up in another bracket, then we have a to the power of 2 plus your a, b, then plus our b squared. Remember something like this? Okay, so let's root this guy out here. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the difference of 2 cube. So what we have here now is similar to this. So we can rewrite the left-hand side of this equation in this format. So let's go ahead to express this. So this now implies you're going to give us x minus 2 plus bracket, the bracket open, our x squared, the plus our uh, 2 x then plus yeah it's going to give us 2 to the power of 2 which is 4 so we have here 4 bracket equal to 0 so yeah we can equate this to 0 equate this to 0 easy so let's take case 1 so we have here case 1 case 1 we will have here x minus 2 equal to 0 collect light time so this will give you x is equal to positive 2 ooh, 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 ooh. I told you that this guy here will give us what? Positive 2. The re root to this challenge here. Easy. All right. So let's go for, let us go for um, uh, case 2. So here we have here case 2. Case 2 is easy. Also, so we have x to the power of 2 plus 2x um, plus our 4 equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation. How do you solve this quadratic equation? It's very easy. If you look at this here, we are having 4 as the constant term, and here we have 2 as the coefficient of x here. So what do we do? Can we use factorization method? No. So let's go using the quadratic formula. How should we use um, complete the square method? That might give us some tough time. And so let's continue on this side of the bird. All right, all right. Ooh. So our formula says that our x will now be equal to minus b plus minus the square root. Uh, let me draw it. Well, there will be the minus 4ac. Right? Everything here is all over 2a. So what is our a? Is the coefficient of x squared. So we have here a is equal to 1. The coefficient of x is what? 2, which is our b, and the constant term, which is 4, c is equal to film. I told you, mass will make you to be happy this time around. Okay, so what we do, let's plug the whole of these values into the formula. So x will now be equal to the minus 2 plus minus the square root of 2 to the power of 2 minus 4 bracket open. Here we have 1 close bracket bracket open. Fion, close bracket. Everything all over 2 and 2. 1. Oh, 
What do we do here? Very easy. So let's up it up here. So this will now be equal to minus 2 plus minus the square root of our 4. Then minus 4 times 4 times 4 will give us 16. So we have here 16. Then still rule all over. 2 times 1 will give us 2. Easy. We can subtract this from this. So if we take this from this, this will give us minus 12. So this will now give us minus 2 plus minus the square root of minus 2. 12, everything, all over 2. Oh, so can we get the square root of minus 12? Oh, yes, we can do some manipulation from here. We all know that minus 12 can be split into minus 1 times positive 3 times positive 4. But here, the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. Remember that identity? We say that the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota imaginary number so we can express the whole of this expression here as our minus 2 plus minus the square root of minus 1 times 3 times 4 right they all over your two here so bringing our iota into the system then we're going to have this to be minus 2 plus minus the square root of 4 is 2 so this will give us here 2 into the square root of 3 into iota everything all over 2 wow 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 what do we do next all right so we can rewrite this expression here so rewriting this this will now give us here minus 2 all over 2 plus um, minus your 2 into the square root of 3 iota all over 2. Cancel, cancel 1, 1. So we now end up having our x2 is equal to, what is it there? So we're going to have minus, yes, minus 1 there, uh, plus the square root of 3 iota there, our um, x3 x3 is equal to minus, let me write it where, minus 1, minus the square root of 3 iota. Over. Okay, so we have our x1 oh here, yeah, so um, this is our x2 and this is our x3. So this is our x1, this x1, x2, x3. All right, so if you go ahead to plug this value into this, it will satisfy the equation. At the same time, if you plug this and this into this original equation, they will satisfy the original equation. So this marks the end to this nice, simple, algebraic exponential equation. If you learn something from this video tutorial, this very video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. If you have a better way of solving this too, in other words, you can solve this thing within 30 seconds. Drop it in the comment section because we are open to learning new skills even as we unlearn old skin. Remember, this is all I must TV and my name remains Jigs and Amor. Guess what? Always, I love you. And every one of us at All I Must TV loves you dearly. Yes, because you are the reason for the existence of this channel. Bye. For now.